did amd just fix the I idle power problem maybe yes maybe no i have some evidence i would say they did make improvements but they did not completely fixed it so at the fixed issues we can see improvements to high idle power when using select multi-display setups with mixed high resolution which is why i'm using and high refresh rate displays on radeon rx 7000 series gpus with variable refresh rate enabled further optimizations are being investigated to improve idle power on additional display configurations so there are improvements i can show you the improvement that i got now this is something i shot with my phone so the quality is probably going to be bad but as you can see, the board power actually drops sometimes to 7, 8 watts. Then it goes back to 40-ish watts. But then it goes back down to 7 or 8, so it doesn't stay down. So the main problem is clock speed remains locked at 909 MHz. That's the problem they need to fix. So they made improvements, so that's great. Other fixed issues, performance drop may be experienced for DirectX 11 games on Radeon RX 5600 XT when AMD Smart Access Memory is enabled, so with, with SAM. Application crash or driver timeout may be observed while play to Ratchet & Clank, Rift Apart with Ray Tracing and Dynamic Resolution Scaling enabled on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon 7900 XTX. Application crash or driver timeout may be observed while playing StarCraft 2 on Radeon RX 7000 series GPUs. Intermittent corruption may be observed playing Rocket League with Bloom set to off on some AMD graphics products such as Radeon RX 6900 XT. Performance drop may be experienced for various games on AMD Ryzen processors with Radeon 700M series GPUs. So these are for laptops. So they fixed a bunch of issues i mean the, the most important one is the high idle power draw they made improvement it shouldn't be really fixed they should have another chapter with improvements <laughs> but as you saw in my case i'm using a 1440p main monitor at 165 hertz second monitor is my old main monitor it's a 1080p and uh, i'm running it at 60 hertz because i don't need to to run it at a higher resolution but the high idle power did drop when i set the refresh rate to 100 hertz and above 100 hertz power draw remained in the 40 watts range and at 144 it would actually go back up to 80 watts so that's bad they still have to fix stuff but again for second monitor you don't really need more than 60 hertz you're not gaming on that monitor it's irrelevant from my point of view obviously it, it would be nice to to have it fixed permanently at known issues we can see that performance metrics overlay may report not available for fps on various games so the overlay if you want to to record uh, performance on games Audio may intermittently become out of sync with video when recording from AMD software Adrenaline Edition with AV1 codec. Okay, so this happens for recording, but thankfully I'm using, I think I'm using the CPU for recording, but I am using AV1 encoding for streaming. So I hope everything is all right there. Okay, moving on. Display may not reach correct brightness with certain games on some Samsung FreeSync premium pro displays and tvs when local dimming is enabled application crash or driver timeout may be observed while playing baldur's gate with directx 11 api set on certain systems with radeon rx 7000 series gpus i only had one crash like right when i started playing i had one crash but other than that no crashes and i am playing with uh, directx 11 api Maybe it's fixed by now, I'm not sure. All right, so as you can see, we have a new release this month. And if you're wondering where do these numbers come from? Well, 23 is the year, 2023. Eight is the month of August, the eighth month. And one is the first release from the month of August. So there you have it. If you 
enjoy the video remember to leave a like a comment maybe subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye guys